Damn, broke ass, broke ass media. Okay, hold up. There we go. Hmm. Just Justin, just in time. What's up, Justin? How you doing, man? I am doing great. It is a Saturday afternoon, and I have fasted today. I've had a slice of pepperoni, and I've had some pistachios so far today. I'm trying to think, what else have I had? What else have I had? Oh, I had a, a piece of uh, pepper jack cheese. So I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm actually a little bit hungry. I've been busy as can be, uh, working in the workshop, getting some stuff done. And I want something tasty because it is cold outside. I mean, it is freaking insane how cold it is today. We were in the mid 60s yesterday. Today, right now, it's like 20 degrees outside and dropping down into the teens. Good evening. How you doing, EJB? So this is what we're going to do tonight. Um, I'm going to try and do a shrimp bisque. Lawrence, what's up, Lawrence? How you doing? Oh, I'll, hey, you know what? Any day that I can wake up and get out of bed is a great day. The day that I can't do that, that's when things are bad. So I feel good. Um, we've traded a Lyle. I mean, traded a Marty Cooper. I, I'm gonna have to wait and see how that works out for us at the bowling alley. While you know, oh, okay, well, cool. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, soup today is a soup type day, so I'm gonna do a shrimp bisque. Um, you know, basically, I, I'm trying to go through and use up the stuff I got in my fridge. And um, I bought a whole bunch of shrimp when they were on sale for $5.99 a pound. So I got about a pound and a half of shrimp right here that I've already peeled and deveined. So I've got that, uh, of course, staple. Onions, although they do have uh, a little bit of sugar in them. I put a half a stick of butter in here to start melting. I see Roscoe's right there with me, hoping that I drop some meat. Um, what I'm going to do, I've got some celery, I got some onions, I got some garlic, and I got a jalapeno pepper. I'm going to chop that up and I'm going to saute that first. That's what we're going to do because we're going to get our vegetables together. We're going to let them get nice and aromatic with the uh, seasonings and stuff in there. And then we're going to puree it and let it get uh, nice and smooth. And we're going to put lots of spices in here to make it flavorful now unbeknownst to me while i was out working my wife got hungry and she actually cooked herself some fish so i don't know if she's going to be hungry uh for some more soup or not so it may just be just me and i don't know if mike's going to want any of this uh or not although he's been eating more and more mojito stuff so tomorrow if you are following me on my main channel, the Joe Boo Sports Report, tomorrow at 4 o'clock we'll be doing a live stream, that's what we've been doing on Sundays, just to kind of keep up with football, and right now with so much going on, we definitely will have a lot to talk about tomorrow, and I have a pack of chicken wings that I took out of the freezer, so I'm going to try and do some keto wings for tomorrow, um, not the bacon soda ones, I mean bacon powder ones, not going to not going to do that ever again, but I'm going to try and do some wings with the, uh, I'm going to dip them in egg, and then I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to show you, pork rind from, now the bad thing is this is $12, so that's kind of expensive, but at least it's already pre-ground, so it'll save me some time. All right, so I got some celery in there and the butter. I'm going to get an onion in there. I'm going to get some garlic in there. And we're going to let that saute because that's basically the base of just about everything. Onion, celery, and peppers. And garlic. If you can get that down pat and butter, you've already got a good start on the flavor. I see Aisha Robinson there. Aisha. Aisha. Aisha Robinson. I got a question for you. Did I see Aisha? And where's Miss Hot Sauce? Joanne Gonzalez. 
and low I mean yeah I'm sorry Lola Miss Hot Sauce and Joanne Gonzalez you know me I put a jalapeno pepper and everything with this don't worry about having you know the perfect size on here because after it's sauteed we're gonna blend it down so if it's kind of coarse cut it's okay Boom. So check this out. Guys, I, I really gotta get get this figured out so I can use the Mevos. I really do. But you see, we got the butter in there, we got the um, jalapeno pepper, we got the onions, and now we need to get some garlic cloves in there. Then we're gonna saute that up real good. Then we're gonna start adding some liquids. A bit, but I love the garlic flavor to it. Nice, right, got my garlic in there, I've got my onions in there. Butter. I'm actually going to put a little more butter in there because that really absorbed it. Put the rest of the stick in there because this is going to be very, very rich. Okay. This is going to have lots of fats in there. I know I should use ghee butter, but this is broke ass media and ghee butter is kind of high. Now you'll remember when I was having to do, uh, it's not as good. I mean, you can use it, but it doesn't have as, as pungent as a taste to it. It's kind of like if you can get fresh herbs are a lot more flavorful than if you have um, in the jar. And it's not always convenient to have some. Cali Cowboys, what's up? Um, you know, it's one of those things you use what you got. You know, it's, it's more convenient and it's a lot quicker having the store, you know, uh, processed. But then the question is, are they putting anything into it to help preserve it? You know, so... You have to worry about that. There's Asia Robinson. Asia, you were asking about the butcher blocks. And if I could put, I could actually, what I could do with the butcher block is I could go through and cut out like a tray in there. And we could insert a picture of your mother in it. And then I could epoxy it over. So that way it's always sealed and glassed up, which would be, um, which would be kind of cool. Or I could take the picture that you have and do that cutout of the picture so that way you have that picture itself actually carved into the wood and so on so that's what we can do so while i've got my onions in here okay my onions and stuff and it's getting you can see it's clarifying so it's getting there we're going to cook that a little bit more i'm going to start adding some um spices to this i'm going to add some smoke paprika because we want this flavor this is uh done by a a uh, guy who does sausage, really good and strong. So I'll put some oregano in there. And boom. I'm going to put some thyme. Time after time. Just a little bit in there. Some garlic salt. Some fresh pepper. Lots of pepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. Good job. Hey, Ace, good job. What are you, are you, you, you just, if you just cut back on the sugar, that'll make a difference. And I'm going to put some uh, rosemary in with this as well. Just cutting back on the carbs and the sugar will help you to lose weight. All right, so I got all that stuff in there right now. And we got this sauteing just a little bit. 
Now, you remember when I was doing the um, colonoscopy, I did all the chicken broth and the shrimp broth? I got some of my broth right here. We're going to be using some of that. So this is going to be nice and full of flavor. So you see, look at that. Mm, if you guys could smell that. Oh, man. It, what this reminds me almost of is Thanksgiving and getting this ready for stuffing. Oh, some stuffing. Damn. I had to think about stuffing, didn't I? We're also going to need a can of tomato paste. Now, some people like to put a little wine or sherry into it. I'm not a wino. I don't like wine in my food that much. That's just me. But actually, it does call for a little bit. Okay. And let this soften up just a little bit more. How's everybody doing? Is everybody okay with the Amari Cooper trade? Are you guys, like, really, really bummed about it? Let's taste it. Not bad. I'm going to add some red pepper flakes to it and get that ground up together. Give it a little extra kick. And I'm going to put some basil in there, too. A little more basil. I want this to have good, good flavor to it. Mm, this is beginning to look good. Oh, see that cooking down? We're going to use heavy cream and Parmesan cheese in here with the shrimp. This is will be stick to your ribs type food here. Uh, with all the butter in here, it's going to be very, very, very rich. I wish I could have some crackers or uh, some bread to go with this because that would be perfect. All right, so we're going to get ready to put the stuff in here. Add a little bit of uh, chicken broth to this to help liquefy it just a little bit. See, by blending it, it's going to get a nice smooth consistency to it. And that will help us to... Um, It'll help us to, uh, boy, that's dirty, to also thicken it, so it'll be nice and thick because of all the vegetables being pureed, pureed, pureed. I'm so glad I'm eating. Uh, I'm burned. You're bummed about Cooper? Yeah. Um, let's just hope that there's a plan there and that we've used some of those, that, those picks and the money to improve the team. If we can do that, then, you know, then maybe it's for the better. That's that's what I can say. I, I really need not so wide a camera. It's more as a square camera. So that way it can get me into the shot better. All right. Let's get this stuff in here. All right, we got all the veggies in there. Take that off the heat. We're going to whisk this thing up. Hopefully, it doesn't mess it up, the seals, with it being hot. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't leak. Good. So, the cleanup job will be easier. Okay, so all that has been parade. Parade? Parade? I don't know what. I don't know how you call it. Turn that down because that's hot. Okay. I'm going to add some more chicken broth to that. I should try putting them. Um, should try putting recipes in the description. You're probably right. I will. That's a great idea. All right. So you can see this now. You can see the veggies in here. Let, let me get this close. You can see the veggies in here, how it's creamed it up. Oh, yeah. We're going to take our can of tomato paste. Our can of tomato paste to put in here. 
Let's stir this up. I need to add a little bit more chicken broth with this too, but it's it's getting there. Kind of smashing it a little bit. Not stirring real good. Okay. Nice and creamy. Mark, I love you too. For even though I'm a Cowboys fan, well, I appreciate that. All right, let's get some more of that chicken broth in here. There we go. Let me get a little taste of it. Mmm. That's getting good. A little more pepper. It's got a kick to it. A little bit more salt. And I'm going to put a little bit more paprika in it. That's just to my tasting. Just a little bit. And we're going to add heavy cream to this. And then we're just going to add the shrimp. And once they turn pink, this is done. This is actually pretty quick. It's only been 17 minutes. Just a little bit. The Parmesan cheese because, of course, you know I'm cheesy. Oops. Damn camera fault. Broke ass media. One of these days, I'm going to have it right. Got to get this warm again. And then we're going to add our shrimp. Let me double check the taste. Mm. That's good even without the shrimp in it. Mm. Just got to get hot again. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's a good bit. I'm going to add a little bit more of this broth because we have a lot of shrimp to go in here. Okay. And while that is simmering or getting ready to simmer, I'm going to put away some of my stuff so it'll be easier once I'm done. Whew. You know, there's just not enough hours in the day. Right now, while we speak, here we go. Right now, while we speak, the workshop I've got the uh, X Carve is out there carving um, a portrait of a guy's two kids, um, and I'm making something I've never made before, which is a tortilla press. And he wanted to actually have his kids' face put on the tortilla press, so I have to do the press. I do the carving there first. 
uh, paint it, and then I have to epoxy it, and then I've got to actually make the other parts for it to put it together because it's basically like one of my butcher blocks with another piece that's going to be able to get pressed down. That's mine. Oh, there we go. Eagles of America. So, Eagles, i tell you what. While I'm waiting for that to heat up, let me... That's, too, that's almost too funny. So, my life is quite busy. So, Eagles of America. I messed up on the first one. I'm going to show you. There it is. What do you think on that? Lola, what's up? So that is the first one. I ended up having to redo it because it was too thick. Here's the other one that I have to go through and do. So I have that, but I actually have this one here that's going to be an extra. I then have these two pieces that I have to start epoxying later. And this is, of course, Michael's. So I can turn that off. Okay, so I'm working on that stuff. And when I get done cooking and eating, I've actually got to go to Staples because I need a compass because I have to design some other stuff. For Joseph Heatherly, now check this out. This is, boom, and that's a piece of 200-year-old wood that we made it on because I wanted to make it special for him. And I'm designing uh, the hat rack here to go um, to go uh, on the cutter. So I'll be cutting that stuff out. Um, not bad for um, for a handyman, as somebody calls me in here. Okay, handyman and what? Uh, I guess uh, uh, um, I don't know what he called me as a cook. But it's all good. It's all good. So, cook dinner, eat, Cowboys video, Staples Home Depot, finish drawing, Cowboys video, fireside chat, and snuggle up next to my wife. Bad cook. Appreciate that, buddy. But you know what? I have fed a lot of people in my life. In fact, I used to work for um, a delicatessen. We used to cater for up to 5,000 people. So I have a lot of people that have been to my house, that have had my barbecue. In fact, even ever at FedEx Field, one time I had to cook 15 pork shoulders, 15 pork shoulders. We cooked 50 pounds of hamburgers. We had um, 120 pounds of chicken wings. I don't remember anybody saying that the food was bad. I just don't remember that. But, you know, I'm getting old and forgetful, maybe so. But you know what? what's, what's crazy? What's crazy is, sure, if you want to say that, um, sure, why not? Beats having to pay somebody else to fix all this stuff up. But um, it's amazing how I, I saw this today. I'm trying to remember exactly how it went. But basically, like, if you're a Cowboy fan, you spend X number of time. If you're a hater, you spend twice the amount of time hating. And that's our buddy right there. You know, Lola loves watching my cooking show and everything else. Okay? Lola is there for everything. But that other dude up in here, dude can't make it. If something were to happen to me, I think he would just literally roll over and die. His life would have no meaning. That's what you love haters for. Okay, so my bad cooking here. You can see, you see the bisque? Let's, let's get closer. The bisque is getting nice and hot here. We pureed the uh, vegetables so that way it smoothed it out. We've got the chicken broth in there. We have, of course, the butter that's in this thing. And um, as soon as this starts getting a little bit warmer, and we got our cheese in there. Um, we're going to end up putting the shrimp in there as well. But look, oh, let's, let's take a look at that. Look at that. That's our bisque. Mmm. Lots of veggies in there. I can taste the garlic. I can taste the rosemary, the thyme. Yeah. That's got good flavor to it. It's got a little bit, just a little bit of a kick to it. And as soon as this starts getting warm, we're going to add the shrimp to it. And you want to put the shrimp in at the very last because you don't want it to overcook the shrimp. 
and then it's done. It's done. You can have some. Yum. Can I? You certainly can. You certainly come on by. Have some. Mm. Let me taste it again. Oh yeah. Mmm. I can taste the parma taste the parmesan cheese in it. I can taste the garlic. I can taste the rosemary. I can taste the thyme. Ah, uh, yeah, the butter. It's got all of that stuff in here. And this is truly 100 percent keto. Alright. We got our shrimp that are just about ready to go in. And I like a lot of shrimp in here. Um, because I like a lot of shrimp in here. If this was in a restaurant, you'd probably get four or five shrimp in there. Uh, you're going to get a bowl full of shrimp in here. This, Because, of course, well, we're doing this at home. All right, that's getting hot. So we're going to add the shrimp to it and then turn it up a little bit more to help make up for the difference. Oops. Turn it up high to get the temperature back up. And once the shrimp are cooked, we are out of there. And we're going to get the splatter. So while this is cooking, I'm sitting here in my mind. I'm going to move one more time in my life, me and my wife. And we're talking about trying to, um, I'm going to build my dream kitchen. Am I making any changes to my man cave this offseason? Very good question. I was just talking to my wife about that yesterday. And um, she's like, you got everything you need. It's like, no, nah, I got to do something different. I know that the, the stand that I have, not my lockers. The lockers don't stay like they are. And I think I'm going to make a new desk to go um, in the inside there. So when I'm watching inside, that it's a little bit better than what it is now. Um, outside, I'll probably end up making maybe an outdoor bar for it um and um probably make the seating a little bit better and make it so it's a little bit better for viewing all right you can see the shrimp are beginning to cook you know we peeled them the vein those and made those really nice we got the poop shoot out and we're just going to keep stirring so you got to be careful that you do not overheat it because the cream will curdle you don't want to have curdled cream but you can see, look at how pretty the shrimp, oops, if I can get a hold of them. You can see how pretty that's beginning to look. Boy, some soup crackers, this would be perfect, but can't do that on keto. And you can see how nice and thick it's gotten too because of the vegetables being pureed and having the cheese in there and uh, the heavy cream. This is a very, very rich, rich soup. Um, I meant to make a salad to go with this, which would be good. Um, I should have actually taken, I've got a pack of spinach just in there, sauteed that with some garlic and some butter would have been good to have as a nice side dish with this. But then again, a bowl of this will probably do me for tonight. Oh, let me get a bowl here. Let me get a bowl here. Honestly, if it wasn't good, would I say, oh, this is bad? Yeah, actually, I do. Actually, I did, because I have integrity. Those chicken wings with the bacon powder, don't ever, don't ever do that, okay? I did it. That, that was nasty. It, it, was too, it was just nasty. Okay. When you melt the butter, can you use water underneath all... All you have to do is take the the what's on top. Okay, I, I'm I'm kind of lost on that one, but okay. All right, guys, turn this down because it's getting hot in here. Whew. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Ooh, jelly. Let's get plenty of those scrimps in here. Actually, 
I'm going to give this one to my wife. I know she said she's not hungry, but we'll see if she tastes it. But look at that. Look at... Oh. Okay, actually, hang on. If I worked in a restaurant, I would have some fresh parsley. I don't have any fresh parsley, but I'm going to put just a little bit here. Just a little bit to make it... To make it okay, now you're gourmet. Now you're gourmet. Okay, hold on. My niece said you weren't hungry, but try my shrimp this. I'm going to turn that off now. Oh, Nelly. I'm sorry. My wife said it's beautiful. Mm. So, it's hot. Now, you could do this with crab. I guess you could do a crab. You could do a lobster. You could do a um, chicken. Um, bisque, basically the same thing, but just adding the meats into it. But look, let's, let's look at that. You see that? Look at, oh, look at that. This is hot. Mm. Now that, oh boy. That is good. Mm. It's too hot though. Oh, Nelly. Notice I drink water. Drinking a lot more water lately too. Drink lots of water. Lots and lots of water. It's a shrimp bisque. A bisque is a soup, honey. See, it's thick. Mm. And the shrimp. Crab bisque is really good. Lobster bisque is really good, too, but ain't got that kind of money. Mm. So, you've watched this in real time from start to finish, 33 minutes. Last night, um, because we had, I had so much to do, went to Chipotle. Here's what's killed me. So, I got a steak salad, double meat. Tracy had um, a uh, not a steak salad. The uh, what is the meat? That's uh, it's kind of. It's almost like pulled pork, kind of. Mm. Grab legs are really good for uh, keto. Um, but she had that, um, that, and Michael had a chicken or a, a, a beef bowl with chicken, double meat. That was forty-four dollars. Three people eat a chipotle, forty-four dollars. That's a lot of money. Frank, this is where you don't understand. I know you like to say that everything I do is wrong, but see, it's not about calories. Let me explain to you what keto is. When your body has been starved from the sugar and from the carbohydrates, what it does is it burns the fat in your system. Literally, it lives off the fat. When you're not in ketosis, your body burns the sugar and the carbs. And when you, but brown, can't do the brown rice though. So brown rice has got carbs. So because I'm not getting, there's no carbs in this. No carbs. See, I'm trying to teach you, okay? Now, you know, I don't hate you like you hate me, but that's cool. There's no carbs in here. There's no sugar in here. So my body is saying, okay, we got to live off the fat. And so your body burns the fat. 
Hence, you've seen me cook every single day. I'm down 18 pounds in seven weeks. So it's funny because you're probably at McDonald's right now eating a double quarter pounder and saying that's full of calories. That ain't a diet, right? Aren't you? I bet you are. Get on scale. I tell you what, tomorrow I actually have it. The scale actually tracks it. And I can actually track it and it'll have the dates on it. So how about I do that? And it says mark on it. But it's all good. You do you, buddy. Here. Have a taste. Look at that. Does that look good? Mm. Well, here's the thing about Chipotle. As opposed to McDonald's. Which McDonald's, believe it or not, owned Chipotle originally. But they decided, no, nah, we don't want that. Bad move. At least you can pick out what goes in. And at least it's um, kind of cooked fresh. So, I get, of course, the lettuce. I get the double meat. Lots of peppers and onions. Um, lots of cheese. Lots of guacamole. Can't do the corn. I'll get them to put just a few beans in there just to give it a, a little bean taste if I've been good. Um, and lots of the hot sauce. Now, what it does for me, doing, doing keto, you need to go ahead and do the fiber because with all the cheese and stuff, sometimes you get bound up. Chipotle is like my, uh, you know, I get a lot of that hot sauce in there. The next day, I'm not bound up anymore. So that's where I like to go to Chipotle. But the reality is, oh, I do, Aisha, I do. But sometimes you're just too busy. Yesterday, with all the news on the Cowboys, I had two live streams to do last night. We had all the stuff we had to get out. It's just, it was one of those time issues. And I mean, quite frankly, for $44 that I spent last night, we could be eating lobster bisque instead of shrimp. Because I don't know how people eat out every night. I just don't. I don't have that kind of money. But mm, this is good on a cold night. So that's all I got for you. I appreciate all of you showing up that love me so much. And I appreciate the one dude who loves to come in and hate me. You by yourself is helping my SEO because you comment so much. Stephen Jones wants to stop it. Yeah. Yeah, he does want to shop at the Dollar Tree. That is Stephen Jones, unfortunately. Hmm. What can we do? He goes to America. Did you see? Does it look good for your kids? It's one of those things that sometimes it's hit or miss on the carbons. So, you know, it's kind of like, uh, it, it worries me. Because I want everybody to love it. All right. See you guys first thing in the morning. God willing. Shout out to you, Joseph. Again, doing keto. It's been good for me. Like I said, I, I'm not a doctor. I'm not an expert. I'm trying to follow along the guidelines to make sure I get to stay away from the sugar, stay away from the carbs. But everything has been doing so much better. My blood pressure is at normal right now, believe it or not. Even like this. So for me, it's been good. All right, good people. There's a big shrimp in my mouth. I'll catch you later. Peace.